terrible sound. That's what I would like to avoid. Especially with it being like my entire stash, you know? Not, not really. Now that I have shelves. It's really like, it sounds like a box of glass. Not that much actually broke too, so that makes it like, it's kind of okay to find it as funny as it was. If it had been a tragic loss of glass, that would be another thing, but it fared okay. All right, I'm gonna squeeze this little piece out of here. Oops. I think, hopefully. And that will be six, and this is, nope, that's a lie. This is six, this is eight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Once you learn that mostly not a not a problem miraculously. It's okay. It's okay to be amused, I think. I think Doey would say so too. I mean I think he made the clip too, so. Okay, so I have a set with a 12, a 10, an 8, and a 6. And a set with a 7, and a 9, and an 11, and a 13. So I need a little bit more green glass. A little bit. I could use that, but it doesn't match at all. This one too. This doesn't match at all. Hmm, I didn't realize I had none of that in scrappy form. Can I just say, having, uh, having stuff put away in shelves is really convenient. Did you see how fast I just found what I was looking for? Who knew? 6, 8, 10, 12. So I need 2 and 4.
wonder if I can make that break where it was supposed to. The answer is yes. Kinda. Jeez, why is that such a terrible cut? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. Oh, I need a one and a five. One, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Yes, a one and a five. I know, right, Millie? Pretty sure it's some sort of a scam, and I haven't figured out. You know, I can't see around that corner as to how they're going to trick me with it. But I'm pretty sure. That it is some sort of scheme. Sorry, that made a terrible sound. Hope that wasn't that loud in your ear. Um, and yet it probably was. I watched, uh, telling Van Galen. So Van Galen practice, had practice with Killer B, Thick Wiccan's practice last night. So I was left to my own devices. And instead of just reading my book or listening to an audiobook and knitting, I was looking at stuff on Instagram, including a bunch of videos from like some stained glass people that I follow that have a lot of like tips usually, um, which is great for, you know, beginner folk like myself. Uh, and I saw a whole bunch of, like somebody did like an I'm bored AMA. And sorry, I'm just getting my cutting stuff and it's on the other table. If anybody wasn't here also, this is that the cutting grid that DJ Doey sent me by surprise in the mail. Um, it's great. It, has, it's like an ice cube tray kind of, and all the little bits of glass fall down into the holes and then you can't like put your hand in them. Um, pretty good. Anyway, I, saw, I, I was watching these videos and usually I find them informative and helpful and like, I'm like excited by what I hear. And the ones yesterday were like, they were such a bummer. It was like, you know, <laughs> Don't expect to be good at stuff. Don't expect to be able to like, I don't know. It was just, it was weird. It felt a wee bit gatekeeper-y to me. And, and these, this account especially is usually not at all like that. It's a huge part of why I follow them. Um, it was just somebody who's like been doing it for like 20 years being like, you know, I never even tried to um, to market my stuff until I was like 16 years in. <laughs> I don't know, it, but it made me feel like super, not like, well, maybe lightly hopeless. It's just like, I already have so many projects from just, this like month or so that I've been making stuff. Um, 
what I'm, I'm going to need to make 16 years worth of projects in that person's opinion before it's like fit for public consumption. I don't know. It was just like. <sighs> and then I spent this morning looking into potential like. art fairs in my area and whatever and those seemed like I don't know you know when you are trying to be trying to get motivated and instead you get like demotivated that's what I had for uh, an experience last night and this morning oof Terrible breaking. Terrible, terrible. Wait, this one's a six? Yeah, okay. I guess I just can't imagine, you know, meeting somebody who's, talking to somebody who's new at pastels or talking to nobody, actually, you know, like nobody asked me, but, um, and just being like, it's going to be a good 15 plus years before you're ready for anybody to see your work. <laughs> like, yeah, how can you make that kind of a determination? It just... Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I've dropped a piece of a pattern. Okay. inclined to feel about it, Millie. Like, do I think I'm ooh, good enough to like, you know, would I sign up for a show tomorrow for glass? No, but um, I don't I don't think it's going to take me like 16, 16 more years, I hope, um, before I'm like reasonably happy with what I'm making. And then again, it's, you know, I still enjoy it. So what if it is? have to uh... it's very expensive <laughs> hobby <laughs> to uh... just be kind of flailing at and not making improvements so I can at... I hope I would at least be improving in that time.
Like our lovely friend Rob is eye candy. Like he has not been doing pastels for long, but he was he's a wonderful um graphite artist and was, you know, for years before that. So like he it's not like you can I don't think you have any idea how some how it's gonna go for someone, you know? But you wouldn't, I certainly don't think anybody would know from looking at his pastel work that that's like a newer medium for, for him. Cause he do be killing it. For being just like plain green glass, this is a very shattery glass, crumbly or something. Which I'm sure is not probably the best way to describe it, but that's, that's what I'm going with. Definitely not glass hitting me in the mouth and the neck. It's still stuck to my neck too. Okay. <laughs> See also why I go straight from the studio into the shower after I am cutting or grinding glass in here. Alrighty. Let's 
just make sure I got all the pieces cut for both types. Both types, like green is the odds and green is the evens, is what I'm trying to say. set of greens for an even, even green heart. Let's see if I got all the odds done. I forgot five. It's a good thing I am looking. Oh, take care, Mecca. Good night. Good to see you. <clears throat> oh, just barely too small. Yeah, it's too small. Well, fooey. I didn't want to use one of my bigger pieces, but... can do about it. Have I mentioned at all how excited I am about hopefully in theory getting prescription uh, safety glasses soon? Because so uncomfortable and cloudy. And I'm sure, it, I know it looks really cool too. and a whole set of odds in green also. So let's do that. Get that out of the way. Let's move these greens back to my scrap bin full of greens. Okay. 
And now I have just randomly two for a set of odds in amber and a sing another single one for a set of odds. So that's what we'll work on right now. I don't think I have anything big enough for the one. I don't. Or the three. Well, little sticks. Thirteen and a thirteen and an eleven and an eleven. So we can hopefully fit two of these nines. can do with the remainder. Rumbled. Crumbled so much, I don't think it's big enough anymore. Rude. Wonderful.
Whoa. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> Akai Flora. Welcome. Hello. I don't think my alert worked still. Apologies. Um, welcome. Thank you, bamboozled. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bye by the chat thingy. I mean the raid message. Wow. Um, hello. Welcome. Uh, thank you for the raid. Hello, uh, Jenny. I see you are here too now. Um, yeah, nice to meet you too. How was your stream? What were you doing? Um, and apologies if I mispronounced your name, please let me know. Um, for anybody who doesn't know me, which is probably a great deal of you, hello, I'm LL Cool Lib or Libby. Um, normally I'm an art streamer and I work in chalk pastels and I do a lot of animal portraits, but um, I've been learning how to make stained glass stuff, so um, you're catching a stained glass stream today. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Thank you, Jenny. Great, okay, Flora, perfect, perfect. The fewer the syllables, the likelier I am not to ruin it when I'm trying to say it. Um, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Ah, oh, Jenny, thank you. Okay, I will, I'll do a show and tell. Um, let me take off my extra glasses. Yeah, you, get, you all get to see this um, really nice look with the double um, glasses, safety over regular. Um, also, Flora, if you have any pictures, oh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, do you have any like progress photos of something you were working on or um, you wanna share your socials or anything, um, please feel free to do so in the chat. You don't need a permit or anything like that. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Um, I've been eagerly awaiting, I have um, an eye doctor appointment next Tuesday and once they tell me if I need a new prescription or if I can have this one, I'm gonna get actual prescription safety glasses and only have to wear one pair at a time. Yeah, absolutely, feel free. And actually, please do so that I can remember to follow you afterwards, because um, I'm not awesome at remembering to do that. So I'm gonna go um, back over to my other camera view and I can do a show and tell from there. I don't know if I even said thank you for the raid. Thank you very much for the raid. Um, beautiful, thank you very much. And I'm going to open that in a tab for myself for later. I don't think I'm signed in anymore on this. Oh, I am. Fabulous. Uh, oh my gosh, that mouse is so cute. No, oh, your work is beautiful. I love your colors. Very rich in your co coffee or tea uh, toasting. And the snowdrops, this is lovely. Thank you so much for sharing your, sharing your work. Everybody, um, please do give wonderful Flora a, uh, a follow on the old Instagram and on here. Oh, I left the mouse off thing on. Turn my mouse off. Turn my mouse off off. Yeah, right? Um, I know, Flora, you, if you're interested, you should get in touch with um, Patrick over at Sutherland Handmade because he is running the great, the great mouse off during the month of August. All you have to do is stream anytime doing something where you make a mouse. It doesn't have to be any kind of medium in particular or whatever. Um, it's just a fun thing that we all do. And, um, thank you for the shout out, Millie. Um, okay, so I'll get rid of the, the mouse off thing for now. Um, isn't it cute? Um, yeah, Jenny, you too, I don't, I've never seen you do a mouse, but I have seen you do a Kathy now. So um, if, you, if you're interested, get in touch with Pat. Uh, right, cute, cute idea, isn't it? Uh, all right, so things I can show you that are more typical. I've got some smaller th things that are smaller than I usually d work with. What am I trying to say? These are smaller than I usually do. <laughs> How about that? Um, rats. Oh, I love rats. They're so cute. 
Jenny, do you know the Instagram account that's called Hero Rats? Like H-E-R-O? It's so cool. There are these, I can't remember what, if they're like a certain kind. I know there are these rats that are very large. They live in Africa, um, or they're, they're from Africa, and they, they can be trained to sniff landmines. So, and because they're so light, they can go out into a landmine field and sniff for landmines, and they don't, they can't set them off because they they don't weigh enough. Um, isn't that amazing? It's so cool, and they're lovely, lovely critters. So highly recommend the account Hero Rats if you're not already following um, on Instagram. Uh, so here is a very a wee, at least for me, um, guinea pig that I recently did. Um, Sorry that the light is a little bit funky over here, um, just because it's very bright ring light. Um, but this is either like five by seven or six by eight, um, so pretty small. Oh, thanks so much, Flora. And this one I did, um, I live in the US in New England, and uh, I live near a coast, which means it's summer, and it you always, you think of seagulls. I, they're here all year round, but whatever. So I did this uh, hollering, <laughs> this hollering seagull friend recently. Once again, pretty small in terms of my usual dimensions. Hey, there we go. I'm really bad at figuring out like what I need to do to, cor to correct my angles. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, he's just, just yelling. I love them. A lot of people like, think they're annoying and I think they're so great and it's in no small part due to the fact that they're just they just taller all the time ah uh, who else do I have in here other landscape oh, I could bring out I didn't bring Sasha out yesterday whenever I got a read last um this is Sasha the red border collie this is my parents Dog, I need to get this framed and give it to them. <laughs> and sorry, I have all I have a lot of finished artwork um, just kind of stuffed into my flat file on top of undrawn on paper, which is not a great idea, but that's what I've done. Um, Oh, thanks, Flora. She's a really nice dog, too. So um, you are, you're correct for loving her. Aw, oh, Millie, thank you. Oh, thanks, Jenny. I'm so glad that you have one, too. I, I love, I love that idea. I have to get back into um, doing the monthly trade with folks, um, assuming that's still going on. Um, Continuing on in the smaller works category, um, this was from a week that I spent um, experimenting with stuff. This paper is actually velour, so it's fuzzy like, um, like you know, velvety, and obviously it's a little ferret. Um, so that was really cool to work with. I had never done that before. This one is not an experiment week one. This is just a little thing on my normal paper. It's my kitties hanging out on pizza boxes. Um, there was in fact warm pizza still in the boxes when they chose this spot. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just how, uh, it's like, I didn't know till I started streaming on Twitch and like doing artwork more often that like, I didn't know I had a way that stuff looked, like how it comes out, but I guess it just comes out, it comes out in a way <laughs> where it's like, it's not super, like, it's not hyper-realism, you know what I mean? Like, but it, it, it somehow looks detailed still. I don't know, it's, it's peculiar to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuzzy animal, hey, mushy queen, how you doing? And yeah, I know, fuzzy on fuzzy, you can't go wrong, right? Well, but for like close up, Jenny, you can very much still see like the breast strokes. You can see, this is, let me see if I can even get this close enough. Thank you for the follow, uh-oh, Fenrisian? 
Viking, I apologize about your name. I'm sure I've done something terrible. Um, let me see. See how you can see that? Like, this is what I often call the, where is my finger? Here we go. Like egg crate kind of texture. That's the paper. That's my favorite paper that I'm using. Um, so I leave that texture and you can see hard to tell with this light, but you can see bits of the actual color of the paper through it. Like it's not, um, there's that French pa painter Ong, which is spelled I-N-G-R-E-S. Um, and I think of that as like hyper realism. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Fen, okay, perfect. Fenris or Viking, I can do both of them. Great, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I really like that too, Flora, for some reason. Yeah, okay, I, <laughs> I, I got you, Millie. I got it, I got it. Okay, so this was another thing from the experimental week, speaking, now that you've seen it extremely up close. Um, I don't normally do backgrounds, like, really of any kind, so this was me attempting um, to do a full background. I think it's the first time I, I tried that. It, it took a long time, <laughs> like a long time. Um, and I have some larger works, which are like a more typical size for me. The Border Collie was, um, that's the smallest size I usually work in. Um, I did this dough. I had a doe that kept visiting my backyard um, this winter. She was gorgeous, so I had to do one of, really it's a deer that looks like her. I didn't get a good enough shot to work from. Um, oh my gosh, why am I so bad? There we go. <laughs> ah, I'm so bad. Me too, Flora. She was so sweet and she'd just like sleep in this sunny spot in our in our backyard like all day in the snow um, but she was obviously warm enough where she was hanging out and then she'd get up and eat, <laughs> eat all the plants that were on our fence um, which is great I wasn't gonna eat them <laughs> oh my gosh I would love to boob thank you mushy queen yeah she's just a lovely she, I wished I was hoping she was trying to like pick a spot to have um, a fawn, but she, if she was, she didn't, she didn't land on here. But uh, I think I probably would have expired if she had a little fawn in my side yard. <laughs> so maybe it's for the best. Um, bearded dragon. This was also, this is a wedding gift for some friends that I absolutely need to frame and get to them. Um, but this was their bearded dragon, who was named Lil Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And I'm not kidding, and I think that name is fabulous. What else do I have in here? Do I have any, oh, I think I have the tortoise in here. Do I have the tortoise in here? Yes, I do. So these are, these kind of larger guys are what I, where I most normally work, size-wise. I did not do the tiger. I will grab the tiger right now though, because um, it is right, uh, right there. As though me pointing with my head like that is helpful. <laughs> it's nearby is my point. Um, and yeah, here is said eep, tiger, still attached to the drawing board, which is why it's an ordeal to get to. There we go. I love the claws. I mean, like on the tiger. <laughs> yes, big stretch. Um, I would say probably like three to six streams, Flora, depending. Like if it's something that um, 
I'm mostly comfortable with, like, um, like the dog, dog, I feel like dogs take me the least amount of time, dogs and cats. Um, and if I don't, if I'm not doing a background, um, it's got like not really any landscapey components, three streams-ish, um, maybe four. Something like, I think the capybara took me like six streams and I streamed for three hours at a time. So the capy took me forever. Um, and that is because of the landscapey stuff because I never do landscapes. It act, that one actually made me start making myself do landscape practice. Um, it was supposed to be the first week of every month, but this, week I, this month I just did stained glass because um, what is discipline? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to even make stuff that has like a nature component that I'm not terribly experienced in less of an ordeal um, by making myself more experienced and I'm tricking myself into just ooh, making myself experienced. Sorry, I just threw my keyboard. That's fine. Right, Jenny? It's a good, it's a, a nice deep stretch. Oh, you didn't, you, you hadn't seen that, um, Mushy Queen, I'm sorry. I'm, I've got to make sure I'm happy with it and then I, I promise I'm gonna get better at Instagramming things, I swear. I swear. Uh, I shouldn't swear because, yeah, thank you, Millie, exactly. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much the more I guess interesting stuff that's in my possession still um, for maybe got this little chinchilla friend that I'm working on. And this is another small one. Um, that is something I worked on on a collab stream with um, Makerbug just recently. And uh, I have been neglecting, I should finish it because Chinchillas are awfully cute, so it's a pleasure to look at that um, reference photo, you know? So yeah, everything else that I've done um, on stream that's like an animal portrait has gone. It's either been a gift or it's been a commission, so um, I no longer own them. Uh, yes, thank you for shouting out Makerbug. And yeah, let me move my pastel cart back out of the way and uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes, please take care of yourself, Flora. Uh, De-stream, relax, apologies, I, I meant to say that long ago. Um, and thank you for the raid. You know, no rush, if you don't make it back, no worries. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, we'll go back over here to my, ew, look at that gross glove. <laughs> Uh, I will say the glove looks terrible, but it's because I use um, both black and red Sharpie to mark my glass, and then it just it wipes off gently onto the silicone fingertips. So um, it's not actually, <laughs> it's not really disturbing dirt. It just looks dirty. Disturbing dirt. I'm not sure that's necessarily a thing, but it is now. Deal with it. All right, and so, right, when you got here, I, I apologize, uh, I just kind of started doing a thing, but when Flora's crew arrived. I was tracing pieces from this pattern and I will show you exactly what we're making here. So I made three of these little heart, they're just sun catcher things. Um, I had a red piece of glass that came to me in a kit and I'm not a huge red person, so I was like, 
I'm not sure what to do. Ow, that's just stuck me in my knuckle. Um, so I made these, oops, that's upside down. These heart sun catcher guys. And I had cut an extra heart and some extra, I don't know, rays, sun rays, radiating bits out um, in advance. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah. Um, so I had just kind of put them aside in a container and thought I should probably see what I had pre-cut. And I had cut some extra pieces of the amber that I used, that this amber, and some extra pieces of this green, but I had some pieces that were the odd, like I've got them just numbered one through 14 on the outside. And I had some greens that were for an odd set and some greens that were for an even set. And then I had two, um, two odd number sets started of the amber. So now I'm just trying to go through and make full sets of either evens or odds, whatever, um, just so that I have enough you know, the, the correct amount of pieces to m actually make a full sun catcher again. So, um, that's, that's what you're seeing. Ooh. Do you fit? You kind of fit. We're gonna go with it. Someday soon I'm gonna have to do a, like a whole stream where I patina stuff. Maybe. I guess you have to wa wash it off kind of fast. But I've got all of these things that I've made um, on stream and all of them are not staying silver. <laughs> so you don't, you can't really, you know, you don't get like a good idea of what they're actually going to look like when they're done. Um, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I guess you just maybe have to accept that you will at some point. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I was saying earlier, um, earlier in my stream that on Monday, after stream, we were gonna walk Boris. So I was putting on sunscreen and the, the one that we have that I really like is um, a spray kind. And to put it on your face, you know, you don't just spray it in your own face. So I sprayed it into my hand to put it on my face and I found a cut um, that I had gotten from the glass, apparently during stream, like in the palm of my hand. But it didn't hurt to get because like when glass is sharp, um, like you don't even feel it a lot of times. I discovered the summer that I um, was a framer. Like you wouldn't know, a lot of times you wouldn't know you got a cut until you like were just about to finish the piece you were working on and you're like, what is that red mark on the mat? Like, oh, I'm, I've cut myself somewhere and I have ruined the mat that I was going to use on this picture. Yes, exactly, Mushy Queen. The only thing that's a little tough is I don't have, um, I don't have a sink in here. So I guess I maybe would have to put up the BRB, and go wash them and come back. The polishing part would probably be all right to watch though. And that you don't actually have to wash off, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, I know, I wish. Ah, welcome back. Welcome back, Flora. Ooh, very good. Hydration is important. She said, having not hydrated once during this stream. 
But that's because I was soldering in here and I feel just kind of sketched out about it. I drink a lot before and I'll drink a lot when I'm finished. I actually hydrate less when I'm streaming than I do in real life, even though I have like, you know, the reminder to yell at me. Um, <laughs> I've got my water locked up tightly when I'm in here, but out there I just have a, a tumbler that I take around with me. Um, so the two things, Millie, the flux is a terrible chemical that um, gives off fumes that are apparently harmful. Um, and also the solder is made of 40% lead. So in theory, lead does make dust and it could settle on anything. So like eating and drinking are not a good call. Granted, you know, I still have the, um, this is the mug, thermos? I don't know what to call this travel thing that I use when I do pastels and it does cover the mouthpiece completely. Don't mind the lipstick on there. Um, but I've also used water from this to pour into both my glass grinder and my soldering, um, soldering holder stand cleaner thing. Um, so I really should give it a good wash. That's, that's my number one concern is that I just, I need to wash the whole bottle. Um, and then I will be less sketched out about soldering and drinking. Yeah, the flux. That said, you know, I took that, I took that class and the, uh, I, the teacher, the, the instructor and her teaching assistant had birthdays within like two days of each other. So one week we went into class and they, the instructor pulled out two cakes that had been stored in the supply closet overnight. So like in with the solder and the flux and the patina, like all of the terrible chemicals. Um, so they pulled those out. Also one was a mousse cake, which definitely needs to be refrigerated um, and was just in a, a chemicals supply closet overnight in the summer. Um, and beyond that, like beyond the food storage issues there. Um, you know, we, we were in this room and people would be soldering, people would be um, grinding glass. There was not a ventilation thing. Um, somebody was totally cutting glass like this next to a, a plate with cake on it. I was like, you're gonna straight up eat glass chips, never mind, you know, soldering, soldering fumes or flux or anything. <laughs> so I know I uh, take the safety, yeah, I, know I take the safety thing pretty seriously, but I, I feel like I'd rather be over cautious than under. Um, so Plus, I mean, there are tons of people that are like, never, ever, ever eat or drink in your glass area, ever. So, that feels more rational to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That class was peculiar in a lot of ways. Like for, um, as a rule, all of the classes they teach tell you not to wear open-toed shoes. Makes sense. And you're supposed to wear all um, nat natural fibers, no man-made fibers, and that's just so if something that makes heat, like a soldering gun or, um, you know, there's, there had been glass blowing classes, stuff like that. If that touches your clothes, at least they won't melt to your body. Um, 
the class supply list was like bring a poster board and bring an ultra fine sharpie both of which they ha well they had the sharpies there and they yeah yeah no worries millie no worries um it also because it seems weird too so happy to explain um yeah they said bring an ultra fine sharpie but they had ultra fine sharpies they said bring a poster board we did not use the poster boards but nothing like um Safety glasses weren't required for cutting glass? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not a good thing to have. Like, so polyester is like the last thing you would, or like vinyl, um, like pleather, any of that would be, the burn would just be so much worse than just getting a, a regular garden variety terrible burn with something extremely hot so I need bigger pieces than what I have here so I will get my um, container that has the amber glass what is that container though this is where the scrap will go I am, um, oops, sorry, I just hit that camera. I just got some glass storage furniture this weekend and it is like a whole new world in here. It's amazing. Yeah, right. I promise I'm not sponsored by like, I don't know, the American Wool Council or something, whoever would want you to wear natural fibers. Um, for a business purpose. Alrighty, that's where I'm going to trace that one. Yes! It really is though, up until, uh, was it yesterday? No, Monday, Mon today's Wednesday. I'm so confused about the days of the week, this week. Um, not in general, I've got a pretty good grasp on them in general. Um, I had just had all of my glass kind of in a couple of piles around me. Um, so now they're in a shelving unit, the larger pieces, and I got storage boxes with lids for the little pieces. It's amazing. Those off first. Mm. I always feel so tough when I break it with my hands. <laughs> I am not tough. Yes. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I break glass with my bare hands. Good, uh, a good sleep, Jenny. Thanks so much for encouraging the raid and uh, always great to see you. And yeah, sleep well. <laughs> At my 
impressive brute strength, I can only assume. That's the part where uh, when I break a little piece, it generally hits right here, which is why there's a hole in that glove right there. Ooh, what's amusing? Sorry, I missed, I missed something, or I probably said something ridiculous, which would be just totally abnormal for me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Alrighty, number one in pieces. Now we will cut out the, save the worst for last. This is the trickiest piece to cut out without breaking. Okie dokie, Millie. I'll be here. to try to fix that little bit, but I can just, I'll just use it, I'll take, fix it in the mix, i.e. Um, there is, if you've never done glass work before, um, which like, I certainly had till I took the class, I mean had not, um, there is a tool, a machine called a grinder that has like a like a cylindrical rotary sander thing and you can use it to fine tune your cuts because you're going to always leave sort of jaggedy little bits um, but you can even leave kind of jaggedy bigger bits if you're okay with spending some decent time at the grinder And to me at least, sometimes it's better to just concede and decide to spend, ooh, that, that hit me in the face again. The second piece of glass that's hit me uh, in the face or mouth today and one in the neck. <sighs> Danger. Um, anywho, it seems to be better to be willing to spend some time at the grinder than get daring with cuts and then maybe have to recut them because you've broken them. Not that I've done that before, ever. Okay, just make sure I have a piece for every odd numbered section. And I 
do. Fabulous. And I'll do it with the other set. I have two sets of this color, um, which is why it looks like I'm doing the same thing twice. I am, but I'm not. Alrighty, we do. Success. So now I guess one of the things I was sort of looking at was um, now that I've chosen my transparent colors, I need to pick some opaque and a complementary opaque color to go between um, my transparent bits. And Aizen, who was here earlier, suggested maybe a pink. And I do have a pink that's got some green in it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do -do 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 -do. problem with that is I can't see through it. Um, anyway, this this might be... No, I don't know if I'm sold on this. The greens might be too different. What I'm going to do is get my um, light table and we can look at the colors that they that the pieces turn when they are backlit. Because that's what they're gonna be like. The green is so nice and bright. Oh, let me see if I can make this stop flickering for you. There seems to be a sweet spot. You, yeah, that's a good word. I wonder if I turn this off, if it'll chill out. Oh, that's better. All right, I guess we'll do this for a while. I turn it up. No, that away away. Good, 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 good. I am glad it's not going to be torture to look at. So these are the colors we're working with. The cool thing about this glass is that it's got these spots in it too. It's, it's kind of like leopard spots almost. You know, I think I don't really hate it. Um, when it's backlit. I don't know. I don't know. The other, the other color I have here, the spots, they're cool, right? The other thing I have is this kind of pretty spring green that's opaque that I could use. I mean, I have two sets of green, it doesn't matter, um, of this transparent green. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I've been, I've been getting exposed to all sorts of loveliness uh, since I started, uh, started with glass. Like, le let me show you, let me pull these out. It's too pretty not to share. I went to a, um, a stained glass place near me. I actually live within 11 miles of two different stained glass.
stained glass stores. Um, and I, I, they had scrap bins at this one, which was so exciting. Um, so that I didn't have to like, you know, buy a full sheet of anything in order to give it a try. Look at this one. <laughs> um, it's like kind of butterscotch-y with like blue-green swirl. It's like amazing. Here's what it looks like unlit. I have no plan for it, but it was way too cool to just leave there. Um, this piece. I'll put that on the table. So you can like really see where it's swirly. Um, and you can tell like the glass was liquid, you know? Um, right? It's, I feel like they are breathtaking. Um, I love how, how transparent the super light spots are. Oh, let me get rid of this and turn this back on. I'll save you, I think my, I, the one I think is my favorite for last. Um, there's this one. Yeah, me too. Beautiful swirly green business. And get rid of that. Backlight it. And this one is the one that I think is my favorite. Um, isn't it? Yeah. So here is, this is actually the front of it. Um, and it's got like, you know, major space galaxy vibes, um, like periwinkle and cobalt and purple down here and like mauve and brown here. And then it's really brown and amber and yellow over here. The back's really pretty too, obviously, but it's got a lot more kind of chunky, weird texture. But the front, yeah, totally lava lamps. Totally. Um, light this for you. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> it's so cool. Wow, and it really glows. Um, I can see on the screen, like your view is really exciting. So, um, yeah. Glass is like real cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you for indulging me. <laughs> Just gonna take a moment and put these back where they go since now I have a place where things go. Still novel to me. Okay. Fabulous. <laughs> My pleasure. Always happy to do a glass, I don't know, field trip without leaving <laughs> leaving our Respective homes. All right, three is what I've got here. So three, one, whatever. Maybe I'll do this. Um, let's see how these look. I don't want it to be too like, um, I don't know where, if wherever you all are from, does a lot of like St. Patrick's Day stuff. I just, I don't want it to look like super, Seasonal, um, and I don't want it to look too Christmassy, too with the green and red. Like I just want it to be a, a sun catcher that is pretty. So I'm wondering if maybe the green and green isn't as good as maybe the whoops 
green and the amber can be the pale green. Because there is some amber to the swirls in this green. I think maybe that's what I'll do. That's the one I'll do for now. So let me see if I can make this any brighter without it being awful for you. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's flashing. Let me know if it is and I just can't tell. Um, but yeah, um, I don't want to have strobe lights for, for you. Unless requested. Alright, so I have odd sets. So I need to do the even pieces. Awesome. <laughs> Very glad to hear that. Okay, and all I am doing right now, well, what I was trying to do was to be able to trace the shapes um, onto this glass using the light table, but not really transparent enough. Let me see if I can turn it up at all. I can maybe get away with that. is just like a little tiny bit smaller than I feel comfortable with. But I can use it for this piece. And I feel perfectly comfortable. So Flora, I didn't read, and, and if you're busy, please don't, don't worry, don't feel like you need to uh, converse, but um, I didn't actually get to read your, any captions under your work. Do you work mostly um, digitally? Or do you not really have a mostly? Which is also fine and dandy. <laughs> nice, nice. Whoops. Knocked that right out of position. Wait, wait, wait. I don't need a number nine. Um, other than digital, what do you like to work in? There we go. Ah, okay. What was your, what was your favorite medium? What were your favorite mediums, if more than one, um, before you switched? I do most of my sketching now, um, like for, whoops, for fun, um, and for like stained glass pattern making digitally now. And I just love it because um, it doesn't make a mess. So I can do it on the couch <laughs> and uh, I don't have to worry about getting like eraser goobers all over the place <laughs> and stuff. Fine line art, ah, very cool. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm one of those weirdos that has the, an issue with like, um, quote unquote ruining sketchbook pages. I've tried one million times to get over it and I, w I won't stop by any means, but I just do, I really love how it's, you know, if I make something I really hate on the iPad, I can just delete it, it's great. For H pencil, interesting. 
if that's what I use. I sometimes will do my, um, my line, my under drawings there for the pastels in um, a graphite pencil. And I think it might be an H that I like also, um, just in terms of not being super visible through the pastel. I don't know. It's just whatever I grabbed one day and I liked that one. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna actually pull the trigger on these lines. I'm gonna draw them in in, in something more than just colored pencil. Because I'm so new to stained glass, I, uh, I still sometimes design myself things that are like not possible to, <laughs> to cut. So um, that's why I wind up doing things like these little red lines when I realize I have uh, made something that is just not even, not even close to realistic. That's, yeah, good call. I guess technically I do have one like that. I should just do that. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense than just having a bunch of sketchbooks. I'm like, oh, I feel like I never want to open that again. <laughs> or I feel like I can't use it at all because it's gonna be, then it'll, be ruined. My partner is actually really, he's wonderful and supportive and helpful all the time, but he started um, whenever I would get a new sketchbook, either from him or as like a gift from my parents or something like that, uh, he will now go in on the first page and just draw like a doodle and ruin it for me. And like, um, in some of them, he's like dunked his finger in some coffee and just like, you know, stained the page and whatever. Um, so that's, that's helpful. But also the idea of also being able to do a bad drawing and, and not have to live with it forever um, appeals. Cause that could get me to draw it in the book, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna not make bad stuff. Isn't it? I think it's great. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get, I need um, number two and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I need number twelve as well. like that piece for it as much. Who designed all these big, awkward, chunky pieces? I need to have a word with them. It's like I was trying to make it so that no scrap would fit. Not you, not you. Sorry, loud noises. Oh, you can be 12, I guess. You're kind of too nice a piece of... Mm -hmm. I like 
that. Maybe I can live with it like that. I'm trying to get the, um, the streaks that are just inherent in this glass to be going in a nice direction, if that makes any sense. I don't like that. Not doing it, I'm not gonna do it. You can't make me do it. It is a puzzle stream. <laughs> Maybe tolerate it like that. Let me turn that off for a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. That said, everything I do is still for practice because I don't really know what I'm doing. even if it's not the most perfect glass placement I've ever seen in my life. It's okay. Ah, oh, thanks for the Lurk Potato Art Studios, and thanks for the, uh, the tip on that website, by the way, yesterday. I spent quite a while on it um, already today, so. Um, and thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying. All right, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That is all I need. I'm gonna get rid of this business. We can cut this out. That to I may be changing my mind on this already. And that is only because, like, see how dark this piece is compared to the rest of them. I just want something else that's kinda on the darker side. So I'm gonna move and slide this piece down a little bit. I think that'll make me happy. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Whoa, that's amazing. Thank you for that tip. I know that stuff is not cheap. do what I want. Rude, but whatever. the day of the week that uh, we usually have someone else make us dinner, i.e. we get takeout. We don't have a plan yet. So I wonder if Van Galen has any, has had any epiphanies while I'm, I have been streaming. My big urgent plans include washing glass chips off my body, then dinner. 
in that order. Sorry, I'm just gonna return this to where it goes. All right, and cut out these little green pieces. Oop. Oh my gosh. So when you cut glass, you're supposed to start off the edge um, and then, you know, go up and onto and then right off the other edge. It's so easy to go backwards the first couple times. That's what all that clunking is. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Stomachs and pizza vibes. I swear, like it doesn't, it's not really working or anything, but you know how Twitch, I was just saying this to him earlier too, you know how Twitch goes through like phases where the pre-roll ad on like every channel will be the same for a while, um, <laughs> right? Um, right now there's one ad that's on every channel, it seems, with a pizza on it. It's like a close-up of a pizza. And I'm like, uh, I want pizza all the time. It doesn't matter if it's first thing in the morning or yeah, any time of day. So now I'm just like, I swear I have pizza constantly on my brain. But like, it's not a great ad, I feel like, because I don't know what pizza place it's for. It's not like I'm like, must get Pizza Hut pizza or something, which we would go with one of the places that's in our town anyway, but um, just saying, I think it's funny to have seen an ad that many times and still be like, I don't know what it's for. Pizza. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Unless it's just paid for by the International Pizza Council. I don't know if, uh, I highly doubt anybody, I don't know if you're in the US or not, but um, we would have these commercials. I remember like, I remember them being on when I was growing up. I was gonna say I don't remember them recently, but I also don't like watch live television at all. Um, but there were commercials for like beef and pork and milk. And it would be like, you know, paid for by the National Dairy Council or whatever. Um, so there were just like these commercials for like a generic food product. There were ones, ah, the Netherlands, nice. Um, there was also one for cotton. It's just so strange. So it wasn't like, you know, any particular brand of cotton. It was just like, look for the, this little icon that says it's cotton on products. Yeah, milk. The beef one, the slogan was beef. It's what's for dinner. And it had the William Tell Overture was the, it was like their theme music for beef. The pork one was, um, their slogan was the other white meat. That was, was like when they were trying to convince people that pork was a health food. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange.
You do? Nice. <laughs> they were, uh, it's a very zesty commercial. I don't know if it made you want to, like, eat beef, but <laughs> you remember them. Yes. And now these words. Milk. As you were. Use more cotton. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Mushy Queen, do you remember? There was this one, it was, again, it was for, it wasn't just for milk, it was for cheese. And there was this guy who was like a weird cartoon guy, and his little rhyme was like, I'm not gonna remember the whole thing, but it was like, at one point, he says you could even eat a wagon wheel. He was like a cowboy, and he, he meant like a wheel of cheese. But the rhyme was, a hanker for a hunka, a slab a slice a chunka, a hanker for a hunka cheese. <laughs> Why? Why is that taking up space in my brain? Forever. It's never going away. You could even eat a wagon wheel. <laughs> I swear it's real. <laughs> and there had been like ones for potatoes that were like, you know, you need to find real Idaho potatoes. So like certain states would do. Happy cows come from California, so like buy cheese that's made with milk that was grown, made by cows in California. There are definitely Wisconsin cheese commercials too. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome for the little uh, cheese song there. I guess it's only kind of a song. It wasn't really melodic. Alrighty. That one's too tall. It's going to stab me if I leave it there. You too. Okay. And you. Jeez. Let's see how this goes. Oh. I didn't do a number 14? Well, what a doofus. See, this is why I always lay it out on the pattern, because I do things like that. I feel like I've done that with every color that I've been cutting today. Like, do I have them all? I think I have them all. I do not have them all. For a hunker, a slab is less a chunk. Of. I'm really sorry. I understand if you if you all leave right now. birthday. How was your stream? Um, I saw it was Solder Palooza, I believe. Um, how'd it go? Uh, let me know. 
And for anybody who doesn't know me, which is probably everyone, hello, I'm LL Cool Lib or Libby. Um, usually I'm an art streamer and I do um, a lot of stuff in chalk pastels, um, mostly animal portraits, but I am a baby stained glass maker. Um, just learning how to do this, so I've been doing a lot of stained glass streams and probably horrifying wonderful sun bear with, with my technique. Um, but yeah, how'd it go? How was it? And right, I should do a shout out because I don't know if I have any available mods. At sun, there we go. If you are not following Sun Bear already, you really ought to. Um, they are a lovely person. They are very, very good at stained glass, um, making all sorts of beautiful, like natural, yeah, I think it's all been like nature related. There have been bears and I've seen whales, um, little hexagons that they all have like nature stuff painted in them. It's be they're beautiful. Go check it out. Lovely streams. Lovely person. Um, hey! Was it, uh, was it a good stream? A good birthday stream, that is? Sorry about this light table. Just moving it away. Cool. And if you have to raid and run also, I totally, totally get it. Um, no worries, and thank you for the raid. Woo! No, no, no worries. Enjoy, enjoy, take care. Of course, I hope you have a wonderful birthday evening. Take it easy, see you soon. Oh gosh, yeah, I bet it's probably super, super hot where Sun Bear is. We had a lovely weather day today. Um, not only did we get rain that we needed, but um, our high was only 65 Fahrenheit. Um, which is just gorgeous. That's like early fall weather. Allowing me to wear a cardigan. All right. Now I think we have all the pieces that we need. Your glasses, wonderful, wonderful. I've only streamed this late in the evening once before, so it is very strange that it's like slowly getting dark outside. Uh, oh yeah, I bet. I bet it's hot as blazes usually. My uh, brother-in-law and, you know, I was gonna say his wife, but I guess like my sister-in-law, and it's th this is probably the first time I've said it, my niece um, live in Georgia. So I know they uh, have it much worse than we do in the summer. Although I will say, you know, I know it tends to be, uh, common to have at least air conditioning down yonder where I'm in Massachusetts. So like we, most places that aren't like, you know, businesses or whatever don't have air conditioning built in. Um, so that can get kind of yucky. We have just one, not a, it's not a window unit, but it's like the same sort of principle. You would just like wheel it around from room to room and vented out a window and it works well but whew, when it's when we get those couple of hot days a year that we get ick <laughs> whoop come on 
Let's get larger, please. So this is all fitting kind of oddly, and that is because, um, as I was mentioning earlier, I will take them, take these little pieces over to the glass grinder and fine tune the fit. So right now, every little like burr that's on the sides of the pieces is bumping, bumping its neighbor away from it, if that makes any sense. Hey, Tara, how are you? Good to see you. It is, this is a new time in day, Tara. Um, I decided to try adding a fourth stream specifically so that I can do half stained glass, half um, pastels and not have to go, well, I guess I'm gonna do two stained glass and one pastel stream or do the like, I'll do two stained glass this week and one pastel and then next week I'll do two pastels and one, it just felt like it made more sense. And I don't stream this late ever, so um, felt like maybe a good thing to try. And I don't need natural light the way I do for pastels. Um, so that was a very long way of saying yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Atlanta in July. Oof. Yuck. <laughs> Although we got totally tricked when we went down for their wedding, which was also in Georgia. Um, I think it was in January or February. I think, like it was just, it was a cold snap, but we hadn't really, even though we were coming from New England, we hadn't packed like, formal cold weather clothes, so it was chilly. But I'd always rather be chilly than hot. Easier to take uh, corrective measure, corrective action when you're just hot. I mean cold. <laughs> Sounds good, Flora. Thank you so much for the uh, the raid and for hanging out. And yeah, likewise. And thank you for the lurk. So great to meet you. Thank you for the raid. Um, sleep well. Bye. Oh no, Tara. Wow, I'm kind of surprised for your area because I know you y'all can get toasty where you are too. Like, we could do that thing, I think it's called a mini split that you can put in that does like heat and cooling. It's just like, there are only a few nights a year that we're like, fine, we'll put the air conditioner on. Although I guess it'd probably be quieter if it was a mini split thing too. Cause that's part of the complaint is like, ugh, we have to listen to the AC, it's so noisy. Um, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Good point, Tara. Terrible point, but <laughs> correct point. Um, accurate. Accurate, very unfortunate point. Unfortunate. As if it were just happening and we have no idea why. But I digress. 49, gotcha. I think we were, ours is around like 29, 20? It might be 20, 20 or 21. Um, I know I'm changing the number every single time, <laughs> but I think um, if I just keep changing it around, I'll be correct one of these times, so. I still don't know if I'm sold on this color, so I think I'm gonna put it aside for now. What color do I wanna do? I've got green. Variable AC unit. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. I 
I mean, we've been, we just had a heat wave for like a couple of weeks, but um, prior to that and since, we're down in like 60 degree, 55, even lower than 55 um, temps overnight. So at least it gets, you know, back down to comfortable and then, um, you know, get a little bit of a reprieve before it gets yucky the next day. Which I happily accept. Oh, they only heat the, ah. Okay. Interesting. Heat cool the room. Oh, the room that like that the mini split itself is in. Eh. 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 Interesting. I should figure out what I'm going to make the hearts out of instead. Let me get rid of this bin and grab a different bin. Please let me. Why won't you just let me? Whoop, bumped the camera, sorry. So I have enough of the little outside pieces cut for one, two, three more beyond the one I just put together. And I, both of these did not break well, or this one's neighbor didn't, neighbors didn't break well. Um, this one you can see it's all like, there's a huge chunk taken out where there shouldn't be. So I can't use that. I don't know if I can use this. I kind of really can't. Uh, maybe I could bump it. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should not. I'm going to decide it's like a millimeter too small and then I'm going to be mad that I cut it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mushy Queen, yeah, Tara, I would love to see. That was a major undertaking. Are you happy with it? Why would I do that without my safety glasses on? Why am I still? doing it without my safety glasses on. I mean, really, why am I doing it at all? I'm just gonna put that away. I wish I had a piece of... Oh, I guess I do have a piece of opaque black glass, but... I feel like I want to use it for noses and eyes on animals. <laughs> yes, that's true. And I was, I had it far away from me. So in theory, it would be unlikely to ricochet back into my face. Or so I will tell myself. What do I have for colors to use? Maybe. Maybe I do one that's all clear around. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Four, eight. Yeah. 
and then maybe I could pick an opaque, um, an opaque heart color since I'm kind of out of the red um, that I had been using anyway. I don't know about these colors together though. This is again skewing a little like, not correctly colored, but uh, Irish flag. I just don't, I really just don't want it to look um, seasonal to anybody, even though, you know, being Irish is not seasonal, but uh, I don't want it to, to read as a, a decoration that you should take down. I say this as though our, this were going to belong to anyone, <laughs> but It's weird to be in like, I'm like in this spot, like I want to be intentional with color choices and stuff, and design choices and whatnot, but also like, 